none of this matters to me anymore. I've got this on such lockdown that I can go and really enjoy myself, right? It's actually unlocked the fun for me. It, instead of making it stressful and worrisome, I worry about nothing. I know where the money comes from. I don't know how much I'm bringing. I know my goal. I know when I'm walking. I know what I'm doing afterwards. Everything I do has a purpose. And so when I'm there, it's just boom, let's have a good time while we're doing it. I'm just doing a little bit of math on the way and I'm out, right? It's freeing. So here we are in session eight of Gambling 201, looking this time at how we handle our wins. And this is why we're here, right? We're doing gambling so we can win money, not to donate money, obviously, right? And I think um, it always to me winds back to goals. And I say here winning, duh, because you wanna win. But to me, it starts with that goal and really, the goal leads you into that so that, right? Our, our goal statements, are they go like this. I'm willing to risk, let's say, $1,000 to win 250 or something. So that, and here's the key, so that fill in the blank. So that I can, whatever, make a car, make an extra car payment, buy a TV set, pay for a trip, refund my accounts, that kind of thing, right? It's, it's not just about the win itself, the amount that you win or the percentage that you win. That's important to note what that is. I think it's important to kind of start with that as kind of a target. Really, it's all of this as a unified goal, and you gotta think all the way through it. So um, the first question I ask you is why, right? Why do I, what is my so that? What is my so that statement? And really, is my so that, I wanna win so that, is it a primary goal? Is it, are you looking to like literally reinvest money back into your 401g account? Are you looking to grow that 401g account? And that's your primary goal is to build that thing up so you can you can, you can take out bigger bigger chunks and bet, bet tougher. Um, are you using that money for your life, right? As an example, if I look at myself predictably, right, I wanna go and retire, right? I wanna retire someday and stop working. I got a nice nest egg. Um, I would love it, nothing more than to have a massive 401g account, go to the casino every day, win three to 500 bucks a day and never have to touch my actual retirement money. Like use this not to live on, but to live on, right? Not because I need to, but because I want to. That's kind of a cool little goal. If that's my primary goal, that's my why statement. I wanna bring money off that table so I can go do stuff and go to the store and buy things, right? Pay, the, pay, the, 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 pay for extra cable, pay for the NFL package, whatever that is. Um, do you have a must have in your life? Like to me, if I'm there, that's a must have. I would must have that win so I don't have to dig into my retirement savings. That'd be great. Um, maybe your, your, your why is a secondary thing. Like you got all that, all that covered and you just wanna feed an account like your excess money account because you know you got friends coming to town or you're gonna go to a meetup and you know you're gonna, you're gonna or a cruise. You're gonna need to burn seven days worth of money on a cruise. You wanna feed an account to cover that. That's a really solid why. And knowing that why ahead of time, I think is a big deal. So you have to have, I think, a plan for your win, okay? The other thing too is, do you need 100% of it at all costs? We're gonna talk about this in a minute. Do you need 100% of that win goal Shit runner go blind. Like, is that it for you? Or can you say my window is 500, but I can deal with three. Three is going to be fine, right? Um, the bigger thing is like, is it tactical? Is this for rent, <laughs> right? Or something important? Are you looking to like, hey, I need 500 bucks because I want to make it a full extra, like a double up car payment is always a good example for me. Or I need the full 500 bucks because I want to do this. I want to buy this exact plane ticket where, you know, a, a lesser win doesn't really get you there, but it gets you close. Um, is this for disposable income? The other DI, right? Not dice influence, but is it for DI, disposable income? Are you just trying to make some extra cash? And if you shoot for 500 and take three, that's cool, right? Grow your DI account. And, and like I said, you can go out and spend money on random things. That's an okay why. But again, know it ahead of time. I think having a solid why takes you and drives you hopefully into the right direction. And I think once you know your why, it's about the where. Now, where does that money go? And how do we handle it when it happens? Here's an example. Let's say you have like a $500 win goal, okay? Where's the money gonna go? And specifically, if you have a plan to break it up, let's say you've got three accounts. Let's say you've got a 401g account, an account for expenses, and an account for excess money like I do. Um, if you're looking to win 500 bucks, let's say your, your real target here is out of the 500, 300 goes to the 401g account, or $300 comes back to me. 300 bucks is my spending money that I've won. 100 of it goes, goes into the expenses account for a later fun run, or, or the, uh, the uh, excess account, and 100 bucks goes to the expense account. So 300 to me 
in 102 different accounts. What if you don't win at all? What if you only have 80% of your win? What if you won 400 instead of 500? How are you gonna split the money up? Are you still taking 300 bucks for you and it's 50-50? What if you only win half? What if you win 250? Now what are you gonna do? Have that plan ahead of time. Know it like, hey, I'm going for 500. It's possible that I grind all day long here and just win 250. What am I doing? Am I splitting it amongst my targets? Am I gonna skip a target? How does that look for you? Well, here's a little example. If you don't quite get to your win goal, where is the win gonna go, okay? In an ideal world, I won the 500 bucks in our example. I'm taking 300 bucks home. The whole point was to win money, right? I'm bringing 300 of that home. That's what my, my real like kind of daily need is to do what I wanna do. And I'll drop 100 bucks in expenses and 100 bucks in my excess account. Perfect, right? What if I just won 400? Well, in that case, for me, probably still taking 300 bucks home, right? And I'll put 50 and 50 in the expenses in the excess account. If I just won exactly 300 bucks, I wanted five, I won three, eh, well, I guess we don't feed the expenses in the excess account today. We just take the 300 bucks home. Now you could opt to still do 50 and 50 in the expenses in excess and take 200 bucks home. You can split your money up however you want to do it, but I would have a little, like a go forward plan before I jump in or know what's gonna happen. And if I just miss the mark, you know, we, we had a bad day. We, we up and down, grind, grind, grind. You got a hundred bucks out of the day. All right, screw it. Just put some, you know, in expenses and, and the excess account, just a pittance over there. Call it the day uh, a kind of a wash, right? Again, this is a suggestion. This is just ideas to think about. What would you do, right? And this, again, I, I asked the question, it's important to know, what would you do given the situation where my win goal was 500 and I won my win goal? Where's it going? If I won less, a little less, or a little even more or less, how am I splitting the money out? Again, walking out of the casino with a random stack of money, 167.50 or whatever it is that you won today, and not knowing what to do with it is the worst thing around. You gotta figure out what you're gonna do with the money. I think having a plan for where it's gonna head is important. And again, I think to kind of clear some of this up or, or summarize this, winning with purpose is kind of the big deal, right? And I think all this to me, all these talks that I do in this whole series come down to me to purposeful play, right? Be clear about your why um, when you state the win goal. Right? Just, you know, I, I'm willing to risk a thousand dollars to win 250 so that I can have some extra money in my pocket is a stupid win goal, right? It, it's not getting you anywhere. All, all that does is say, I wanna go have some fun and win some money. To me, having a clear why, any why, as long as it's clear and you're honest about it, is beautiful. Right, I want to win that 250 so that I can buy my son a TV set, so that I can, you know, buy my daughter some tires for her car, so that I can buy a plane ticket to go surprise my mom in Florida, so that I can do whatever it is I want to do. For me, like I've said, my retirement plan, right? I've got retirement money already ready to go. Wouldn't it be cool if I was a good enough, quote unquote, good enough or lucky enough gambler or a disciplined enough gambler that I never had to touch my money? I had my 401k, my investments, I never had to touch that stuff, and I just could go to the casino every day, win a few hundred bucks, and that pays for the groceries and the electric bill, and I already owned my house outright, and we just lived on that. Um, didn't need to, but just did, and then leave all that investment money to my kids, right? That'd be a beautiful thing. What a great, what a great why, and a little bit of along the way kind of helps that through, right? Your why could just be, I wanna load up an account. I wanna win every day and load up some big massive account and take the whole family on a cruise. Great, man, that's such a great, it's such a great and beautiful why. Have it, have it, state it, know it, live it, love it. That's an important thing, follow through with it, right? And again, if you fall short of a daily win goal or a weekend win goal or whatever it is, have a plan for that shortfall, it's okay, right? If you're gonna go 500, 100, 100, or 300, 100, 100, you can go 150, 50, and 50 if you win half, half of your goal. Totally fine to split it down the middle. But again, you gotta have that plan that works for you, right? And following through. I, again, I, I, I say this a lot. I'm going out there with just like a pocket full of cash and a, you know, a bunch of random luck and you get a pile of chips back and you go woohoo and you walk out and you're like, they're, they're, you're just kind of doing this. And guess who loves when you do that? That casino loves when you do that. That's what they, they thrive on. They make their money on people just doing that, just being random with it, like random amounts of buy-in, not paying attention to their rack, not sticking to a win goal, 
Like, oh, I almost won my 500. Let's try for one more. And then before you know it, you're down 250. They live on that. That's where the lights come from. That's where they're, they're paying their, their staff off of those bad decisions, right? Winning with purpose, playing with purpose. I think having goals and sticking to that, it helps you not be, quote unquote, that guy, right? Let everybody else feed that beast. Let everybody else bleed it out. Let everybody else drip and drag their money into the house. You be the one that has a purpose, that has a stated goal, the discipline to stick to the goal, and walking out with that money and doing something smart. And I say smart, doing something you planned to do with that money. Stick to it. Win with purpose. And I think, again, we all want to win. The whole point here is to go win more than we lose, right? Um, but again, if you, if you go and win and you're not focused with how you win, the way you win, and what you do when you win, you're going to be in a world of hurt in the long run. I think this is the kind of thing that, that, helps, that helps the casino, and it hurts you, and it kind of, like, it'll, it'll bleed you through. It'll bleed you out slowly. Um, you're likely to bleed out slowly anyway because it is you know, negative expectation of the casino, but um, I think purposeful play is where it's at. I think goal-oriented play is where it's at. I think organized, uh, organized um, patterns, organized thoughts, organized actions is really kind of the, the secret sauce here. To, 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 to lose less often and not be like everybody else. This is the differentiator. Be better. Make good decisions. Play smart. And good luck. Uh, hope that helps out. Thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in and watching this one. Uh, and I hope this is, a, this is a big help for you. Um, I know that when I started playing with purpose, when I started setting goals and logging things and being more diligent about my play, it changed everything for me. You know, a lot of people give me grief. They say, you know, you do all this organizational things and you have the bank accounts and you got this goal sheet and you got all these, but you're, you're sucking the fun out of gambling, right? You're making it work. And yeah, there's a little bit of work. There's, there's some work involved with getting all the organization pieces. There's some work in, in, in thinking about this kind of stuff. But you know what it does? Honestly, it unlocks all of it for me, right? When I have a plan, when I'm organized and I've got like no questions, I'm just on autopilot. All this stuff to me now is on autopilot. I can literally go to the casino and focus. I can have fun. None of this matters to me anymore. I've got this on such lockdown that I can go and really enjoy myself, right? It's actually unlocked the fun for me. It, instead of making it stressful and worrisome, I worry about nothing. I know where the money comes from. I know how much I'm bringing. I know my goal. I know when I'm walking. I know what I'm doing afterwards. Everything I do has a purpose. And so when I'm there, it's just boom, let's have a good time while we're doing it. I'm just doing a little bit of math on the way and I'm out, right? It's freeing to play this way and to really think about and organize everything that you're about uh, as part of your casino play. And like I say all the time, I'll repeat myself here again. This kind of thing is the differentiator between you and everybody else. Everybody else is bleeding. Everybody else is feeding that machine. You, with discipline, organization, and purpose can be a difference maker. You can be the, the outlier that pulls money away and not always donating money back. Okay, at the very least, at the very least, you're playing smart. So with all that said, um, good luck at the tables. Thanks again for watching. I hope this was valuable for you and I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Uh, please feel free to leave us a comment here in the, in the comment section for the video, but really better still, join us on Discord. Go to casinogaming.tv and hit the community link in the menu there and join our Discord. That's where me, other uh, YouTubers, and all of our uh, subscribers hang out. We sit there and talk strategy and just BS kind of all day long. It's a great way to get connected and stay connected and kind of interact with the team, um, learn about meetups and, and get togethers and all that kind of stuff. So with all that said, again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your time. God bless you, and I will see you in the next one.